Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. And get this, we can make this jump as normal Link. So last time, we delayed the first um, dungeon of the game even more by grabbing the all important bunny hood. I will finally make it to the swamp in this part, don't worry, but just a few more things I have to take care of in this place. Uh, with the um, bunny hood, we can make a bunch of jumps here because the bunny hood will also let us um, jump further and there's a treasure chest here now get this this is very subtle but in the Japanese version this treasure chest is actually moved a little closer to this wall don't know why they brought it forward but they did inside there is an easy 100 rupees to grab you're pretty happy so happy Now, something else to do would be to go to West Clock Town, for there is a important shop that you really want to stop by and buy something from. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna go near it. Jeez. Dude, you should be called Mr. Convenient. You always turn it when I'm about to touch it. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Right, this shop here. Um, bomb shop. This bomb shop is open 24 hours a day, um, three days a week, and well, you really want to buy something from here. Welcome. Talk to the shopkeeper. We're expecting to get our larger bomb back back in stock pretty soon, but now that I think about it, it's already late. We don't have to worry about that quite yet, but here is the bomb bag. This bag for carrying bombs is made from a certain monster's stomach. Buy it for 50 rupees and we can use bombs. You've got a bomb bag, now you can carry and use bombs. With this special offer, the bomb bag comes filled with 20 bombs. How lucky! Thank you very much. Come again. Thank you, come again. Oh, and over here, there's a Goron. He won't do much now, but later on he'll be important. Hello, do you come? Did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that the shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. And over here is something pretty interesting. Um, this. Planned moon trip. Experiment memo. Try using bomb powered flight. That's actually a hint to something about the land of Termina. It is long believed that Termina is a lot more technologically advanced than Hyrule ever is. And that actually become more evident over the course of the game. So we're using bombs to actually power a rocket to fly to the moon, and I do not like the look of that over there. Why did why did you fall over, you stupid? Okay, there we go. That was my own problem. Oh yeah, get the bombs ready. Now with these bombs, well, we don't actually need them um, to progress the story for a fair while, but we can still do a bunch of stuff with these bombs. Oh, what was the code again? I don't have that paper anymore. Yeah. What was it again? Alright. Oh yeah, 412. 412, 412, 412. What? What? Wait a sec. Oh, really? You won't let, you won't let bunnies in? He wouldn't let me in because I was a rabbit. That was a bit strange. Now excuse me, this rabbit's got to run. Once I get this, that's it. I am, I'm heading out. So all aircraft report. Right. Uh oh. 
Let's see, you're not going to time, you could mash the B button to swim faster, but you can't do that in Majora's Mask for some reason. Right, here. There's this wall you can bomb. Because it's cracked, just wait. Bombs are used in the exact same way as in Ocarina Time. And there is a treasure chest. In it there's a... There's another silver rupee just for you. So that's two silver rupees you can get every time you start the cycle over. Which is really awesome. Oh, I miss that mashing the B button to swim faster. Why don't they give you that feature in this game? Primitive! Downgrade! Two steps back! Etc. Right. So without delay, buy one today. Without delay, we're heading back to the swamp. The closest we got to it was actually that um, that transition area with the piece of heart on the tree, but this time we're heading out for real. Let's go. Oh, but we have to talk to the guard again. There we go. And on my way there, I guess I can talk about something that I'm really looking forward to that was announced when I was away. Uh, a brand new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, and I want a magic refill. Uh, no. Yeah, you can pick up the grass now from the start, which you couldn't do before. Oh, and in here, your rumble pack will go off. Yeah, you basically have the Stone of Agony with you from the beginning. Just use a bomb wherever your rumble pack goes off, and you can uncover secret holes. Down here, there's not much. There's a bunch of grass you can you can get um, cut to get a bunch of rupees, but that's about it. Anyway, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game is coming to the 3DS um, in Japan later this year. We won't get it until about spring of 2013, I predict. Because, you know, it's going to be text-heavy. So, of course, you know, text-heavy games always take a, a bit of time to translate. I don't know how they hurried up with um, Black and White 2. I mean, they really rushed the translation of that, didn't they, compared to um, previous Pokemon games. But I have my own theory of that, which I will get into a little later. The new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. All I can say is, hell yeah, Nintendo are pleasing the fans again. Because there's no doubt about it that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has quite a f has quite a following. Just look on DeviantArt. People love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I mean, they actually have a group on DeviantArt where people write their own... Um, um, comp they basically compete to write the best um, stories and, and make the best comics and such and such. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game released in Generation 5. Hey Gavin, does that mean you're gonna be Snivy? No, because that means I'll have to be male and with me that wouldn't quite seem right. So here's Southern Swamp and not all as well as we'll soon see. Hit the Owl Statue. You see, I know this won't happen, but I'm really, really hoping that they will remove the restriction from the past games where you, the hero and partner Pokemon can't be the same type. Now you know what I truly want. <laughs> Swamp tourist information ahead. Yeah, we will want to make a pit stop here. Oh, and over here there's a business scrub. Oh, I kind of wish I had that Ugh, later. Let's just go in here, and this guy's just buying his fingernails. Blimey! Where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again! A child his age has no business searching for fairies! Oh! Ahem! Welcome! Well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? What? Huh? Is this your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently held in the Pictograph Contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For noise for, t for pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you first must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at the window over there. 
If you're interested, go for a ride! Nice! Alright, let's see. Old Kume's boat cruise. Ticket office closed. Please acquire at the Magic Hag's potion shop near the edge of the swamp. Aye. We'll have to go a bit further down the swamp. Now over here, remember this guy from Ocarina of Time? Yeah, the big Octo, he's back. Right now he's just here as an obstacle because... <laughs> He'll spit us right out. Can I target him? Yes, I can. Don't tell me you don't know about the big Octo. If you don't want to be sucked in, keep your distance. Aim from afar. What's this text from? Um, you did send this text to me already. Oh. No. Uh. Ben, you already sent me this text. And I already added your new number. Damn it, Ben, why are you so inconvenient? Anyway, let's get our Deku mask out. Because we're going to hop across these lily pads. Right. We need to go this way. No. Yay, useless Deku Nuts. You barely use them in this game. I mean, I can never find any use for them. Speedrunners, maybe, but... I'd say they were more useful for speedrunning in Ocarina of Time. I mean, you know, just use them on Queen Goma. Assuming it's not an early version of the game, because the game would actually freeze if you did that. Alright, go up here and... There's this building up here. Which basically is a giant jar. Magic Hag's Potion Shop. Oh, behind here there should be a... Yeah, there's a single rupee behind there. I don't know why it's there, but... This music's familiar. <gasps> Oh my god! They they kept their word! They kept their word! I'll come back to haunt you! They did come back to haunt me! Um. Tee hee hee! Welcome! My potions work very well, they do! Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate. Koma has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. Hmm, now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, would you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's easy getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Speak to the hag. Well, that's nice of your game. I mean, Kume and Kuntake are back, but they, they're nice. Which also suggests that this game is just an alternate universe of Ocarina of Time. I don't know how it all works, it's so complicated, but oh well. Hmm, if only I had some fragrant mushrooms, which I don't have. I mean, which I don't have. Long ago, this powerful nose of mine could detect them wherever they grew. But lately, my nose has lost its touch. Ah, it's tough getting old. She sells you potions. Which you store in empty bottles, which we actually don't have right now. But, I can at least go over them. The red potion will fully restore your hearts. The green potion will fully restore your magic. And the blue potion will fully restore both life and magic. But you can't use it now. You can't buy it off her you, because it, she doesn't have a specific item. So these are the Woods of Mystery, and they're basically a clone of the Lost Woods from Ocarina of Time. They were ferocious turtles. Now the place is a maze, and the, the path you have to take changes every day. So on the first day you go left, on the second day you go right, was it? Final day I think was up. You can talk to the monkey and he'll tell you where to go. Mmm, follow me. Ah, oh, the monkey can talk! Wait, what? Now watch out for the turtles, because they will really mess you up. 
Because the monkey doesn't wait for you. See? He's, he keeps moving. It's a snapper. The way these things move. They never expose the weak part of their body. Ow. You need to do this. Get in a deco flower. And just wait for them to come to you. That grab. And then, pow! That's how you defeat them. Now, if you go the wrong way, you'll find yourself back at the entrance of the of the of the woods. So watch out! You find yourself leaving. Where did the monkey go? Zag grab. Was it this way? Oh crap! It wasn't. Ugh. Let's keep on going. Let's just try this again, and don't get distracted by the snappers. Right, don't lose track of the monkey. Foul grab! Watch out! Ugh. Oh, he's going that way, he's going that way. I mean, the monkey runs a little faster than you. And he will actually try to trick you by appearing to be going one way, but then suddenly turn around. At least he gave us time to catch up then. Alright, I think it was left. Yeah, it's left, and that should be it. Here's the other um, of t the twin rover sisters. I was just busy minding my own business picking mushrooms when BAM! I got hit from behind! That pesky skull kid! Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh! Ow! The thing that he's that he is that powerful! And now I can't even move! You! Don't you have anything that gives you energy? No, I don't. Ah, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not all what you make yourself out to be. And get this, if you talk to her as the Deco Scrub while she's um awake, she'll do this. This is pretty funny. Egg, now I've done it. I've gone and attracted some weirdo's attention. Um, I'll just play dead. <laughs> She plays dead because you're the Deku. <laughs> I love that. Now these signs just say that this is this is the exit. So we know where Kum where Kumi is. So let's go back to Kont Kotake and we'll tell her what happened. Um, it would help if I could run faster. Okay, so up we go. Up, uh, camera. Up we go. And in we go. Um. So she's gonna say the same thing. We somehow explain to her what happened. Good grief, woman. What's that? The school kid got the call, me? That's ridiculous. If it's just a school kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh! Well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. So she gives us our first empty bottle, and it, and it's full of red potion. We can drink it ourselves, but we're not meant to. If you do, she'll be all like, oh, You accidentally drink that red potion. Okay, here's another one. Quick, take that potion to her. Now, Majora's Mask... Of course, it has empty bottles, but the thing is, all your empty bottles are stored down here, on this line here. And you see that there's actually room for six. This game has six empty bottles. Which, um, was really the only first, um, Zelda game to have more than... No, it's only one of two Zelda games to have more than four empty bottles. The other one being Skyward Sword. Well, I'll tell you this, if you were playing Tingle's Rosy Rupee Line, that game has tons of empty bottles. But empty bars are a lot more useful in that game. God, I haven't played that game in ages. I mean, don't get me wrong, despite it being a tingle game, it's actually decent. It's just extremely difficult to play. It's not due to the controls, it's due to the um it's due to the way the game works. It's really complicated. And it makes the game unneedingly difficult. 
Almost to the point where for some people it can seem unplayable. I won't go into it now because I'm... That's not for now. Right. Oh yeah, don't you feel obli obligated to help a sorry old hag when you see one? No when they've come back to haunt me! Anyway, this is a new feature in Majora's Mask is when this text appears, you can actually press start while you're talking to the NPC. Select the item, and while this text box is still here, you can um, select that item. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's! She drank the blood of... I don't know. Oh, feel the energy flow! Kume is revived! Again! You saved me! I'm the Swamp Tour Guide, I won the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride! So now she'll be at the Tourist Information Center, where she should be. Now, upon doing that and leaving, this will happen. We'll actually find out that there's a problem with the swamp. Get out of my way! No way! I'm, I'm glitching past you! So I glitched past a guard! I can glitch past you! doesn't work. We have to talk. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall strange. Brother go to temple. <laughs> Look at Link go. He's just... <laughs> but brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku. Now in palace. Help. So the monkeys are in a bit of a predicament. Looks like we'll have to help them. Now if you keep following these monkeys, they will actually eventually just mysteriously disappear. The N64 couldn't handle them going all the way. Right, so I'll end things off here now. I'll say I'll quick save at the owl statue over there, and I'll see you next time. So next time, we should probably find out more about what happened here in the swamp. So until next time, see you later.